Uh, good morning everybody and uh, welcome to, uh, to our campus. It will be a workshop, it's not only like listening because we are aiming at achieving some concrete recommendations by the end of today. Saya kira sudah cukup lama Indonesia berupaya untuk juga bisa membangun alternatif-alternatif energi yang lebih berkelanjutan. And bioenergy, I mean, it's sort of we, we should remember that it goes from people using wood or charcoal to cook their food to uh, a, a biofuel uh, facility in Bali or, or some uh, biodiesel uh, race uh, in, in Indonesia. The bioenergy, uh, it's clearly linked, of course, to the SDG number seven, affordable and clean energy, but it's also linked to no poverty, zero hunger. You see a whole suite of, of SDG. Well, bioenergy potential in Indonesia is quite huge and Indonesia is already today a very important uh, producer of uh, palm oil uh, and a major exporter, actually the largest in the world. We already have here a target of 23% bioenergy, we have a fantastic market and we have the policies, uh, some of the policies in place. So that's also something one could say, but at the same time we do have established trade that is generating a lot of income in the country that we need to, to consider. Uh, it's been 10 years since the first uh, regulation enacted uh, on, on biofuel and we've, we've seen a lot of up and down and we can really see how effective the policy and we can learn from that. Kemudian trade-off, trade-off antara ekonomi, environmental, dan sosial uh, itu uh, perlu diperhatikan. Nah, di dalam hal ini, uh, karena kita uh, bicara tentang green growth, sebenarnya spiritnya itu adalah partnership, Bapak dan Ibu. Jadi, yang membangun itu bukan hanya uh, pemerintah daerah, akan tetapi mengundang juga banyak uh, berbagai investor yang lain. Musik